from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. In Louisiana, a woman came home to find a stranger naked taking a bath in her bathtub while eating her Cheetos. Yeah, I'm not sure what's worse here, finding a naked man has broken into my house or discovering that somebody's eaten all of my Cheetos. That'd be a close call. The original federal income tax deadline this year was last Tuesday, but the IRS had a computer glitch, so they extended the day to Wednesday. It's like a really bad horror version of Groundhog Day. According to a Time magazine poll, 80 percent of Americans surveyed say children are more spoiled today than they were 10 years ago. The remaining 20 percent weren't polled because they were busy picking up their children's dirty socks, brushing their children's ponies, and shopping for them in the toys aisle at Walmart. Charlize Theron put on 50 pounds for the role in her latest movie Tully. And yet she is still sexier than I am. Randa Girar, a California State University Fresno professor, ranted about Barbara Bush being an amazing racist. Now it's looking as though Randa Girar could soon be a former English professor. In a survey of 6,000 women, it turns out most don't want to see our furry feet and trashy toes. Flip-flops? Nope. Not unless you are going to the beach, the lake, or hanging out by the pool or sitting on a boat. Sandals? Sorry, still too much toe action for the ladies. See, this is exactly why I wear socks with my sandals. Former House Speaker John Boehner, who was against the legalization of marijuana while serving in Congress, is now a lobbyist for the marijuana industry. You know, after that many years as a D.C. politician, I'd probably need something to take the edge off, too. According to a study, teenagers who smoke are five times more likely to drink and 13 times more likely to use marijuana than those who are not smokers. The report links smoking to other substance abuse and spotlights research on how nicotine affects the adolescent brain. On the plus side, it means less competition for your non-smoking kids at college and in the job market. When you yawn and that causes your dog to yawn, well, that's one smart dog you've got. Some pooches find human yawns contagious, which suggests they have a rudimentary capacity for empathy, something scientists thought only applied to humans and chimpanzees. 72 percent of the 29 dogs tested by British researchers at London's Burbank College were so sensitive to human yawns that seeing one made them yawn in response. Either that or the dog just finds you extremely boring. Parents report suffering depression more than childless people do. Sociologists find that kids are not necessarily completely good for our mental health as adults. Moms and dads report more depressive symptoms than childless people. Well, sure, I mean, when, when childless people feel down, well, they can sneak off to the Caribbean or Vegas, but for people with kids, the trips are mostly to doctor's appointments and Chuck E. Cheese. Starting May 1st, you'll need a note from your doctor to bring your emotional support animal on board your Alaska Airlines flight. So good luck in convincing your doctor that your peacock is an emotional support animal. A woman is suing an Italian restaurant in Orland Park, Illinois, claiming that piping hot marinara sauce shot out of her lasagna without warning and caused severe burns on her hand. Yes, severe and delicious burns. Hot sauce, it, it's supposed to shoot out of lasagna, isn't it? I mean, what do you want, lady? A warning label? You know, whatever you do, do not take this lady to a Mexican restaurant with the insanely hot plates they implore you not to touch. Chipotle may start offering breakfast burritos, which is great news if you were looking to get salmonella earlier in the day. A new survey finds that 42 percent of Americans will retire broke. <laughs> I don't have to wait until I'm 65. I can retire broke right now. Police in Berlin, Germany confiscated an air raid siren, which a 73-year-old man used to stun his wife into submission. The man said he occasionally sounded the siren because, quote, my wife never lets me get a word in, unquote. In response, his wife said that she sometimes had to yell to get his attention because, quote, my husband is a stubborn mule so I have to get loud, unquote. This guy doesn't need an air raid siren. He needs noise-blocking headphones. This episode of Daily Dose of Weird News was brought to you by Send Out Cards. You can mail a real, personalized greeting card without leaving the house or going out to buy stamps. 
Choose from the hundreds of existing cards on the website or create one of your own completely from scratch, using your own photos and message. And you can even use your own handwriting and signature if you wish. You create it all digitally, on the website, before it goes to the post office to get mailed. For an extra special touch, you can add a gift to the card, like a stuffed animal, bakery item, or candy. Try it now absolutely free by visiting sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!